Okay, sixth grade, lesson nine. This is on the number line, ordering and comparing. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I'm just going to draw a number line up here. You don't have to do this on your paper unless you just want to. This is called a number line, and a number line usually just puts numbers on here. We can go left and right, and as you see, the numbers on the left are negative, and the numbers on the right are Normal. positive. Okay, and zero is considered neither negative nor positive. Okay, this is the origin. Okay, now each of these things are called tick marks. Yep. Okay, and um, all of these are called counting numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then if we go backwards, negative, negative numbers and positive numbers are called integers. So pretty much anything you can put on a number line is called an integer. All right, now. I'm going to erase this and we're going to move to something different. All right? If I asked you to arrange these three numbers from least to greatest, how would you do that? 211, 212, 221. From least to greatest. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, 112. Okay. 121, then 211. Very good. Okay? So, he looked at these, and you start with your first number, which happens to be in the hundreds place here. And as you can see, this one starts with a 1, this one starts with a 1, and this one starts with a 2. Okay? So, we know that it's going to be one of these ones with a 2, with a 1, that we start off with from least. Okay? So, then we go to the next number. 12 and 11. Okay? So, is 11 smaller than 12? Yeah. Yes, so we know that this whole this whole number is going to come first because 11 is smaller than 12. And then 2, if we put one more up here, that's 21. So we can tell by looking at each first number and organizing it in, in that way. Okay? Okay. All right, now, if I were to put those numbers on a number line, it would look something like this. Now, I'm not going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way to 211, Okay. But let's just pretend that we would just say this is 112, 121, and then 211 will be somewhere over here. See how we did that? Uh -huh. It's not important that I put exact. It's just to show you know or you understand. Okay? Okay. Now, do you remember comparing two numbers? What can go in the middle? We can either have an equal sign. Oh. If I was comparing two numbers, yeah. we could have a less than sign, or we could have a greater than sign. Remember that? This one obviously would be 5 is less than 8, okay? But we're going to do a bigger number, since you're older, okay? And for example, it will look something like this, okay? Um, 5, 0, 1, 2, and over here is 5, 1, 0, 2. Now, some people like to think of this as the Pac-Man. Okay, and a while ago when I was talking about 5 and 8, the Pac-Man always eats the bigger number. So, as you can see, there's Pac-Man fixing to gobble up number 8 because he's bigger. Okay? And so if you want to use that method, then that's great. All right, so let's look at this. All right, this one has four digits, and this one has four digits. Okay. okay? So let's start with the... Um, Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, place. Obviously, they're both five, so we need to go to the next one. Okay? Okay. Which one is bigger, five zero or five one? Five one. Five one. So this would be like 50 or 51, okay? And so, obviously, this one is the bigger, and so as you can see, Pac-Man is going to go eat this one up. So, we say 5,012 is less than 5,102, okay? Okay. All right, let's do another comparison, and this one's going to be a little bit harder, so I'm going to write small. Do you remember what this sign means right here? Division. Yep. And here we're going to actually divide. I'm going to put it different. This is my comparison spot. Okay. And then we have 16... Okay, do you remember this? We still, we have the exact same numbers, but this one is 
these in parentheses. And what does that tell you? We're supposed to do it first. First, okay? Since this one doesn't have parentheses, what does it mean? It You're going to go from yeah. left to right. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So let's go from left to right. What is 16 divided by 8? It's uh, 2. Very good. Okay, now I get 2 divided by 2. Uh, 1. 1. All right, let's move over here. Because it's in parentheses, we do it first. 8 divided by 2. Uh, it's uh, 2. 4. 4. What? 8 divided by 2. Uh, 4. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. And then this is 16 divided by 4. 4. Yep. Got it? So I have 1. Is that? Let's go ahead and put our comparison symbol here. All right. And which one does the Pac-Man eat? 4. Number 4. So... As you can see, 1 is less than 4. So we would say 16 divided by 8 divided by 2 is less than 16 divided by parentheses 8 divided by 2. Okay. You got that? Mm -hmm. All right, last problem for this lesson. You heard me say I have a 1 fourth and a 1 half. Now, you've always been trained that when you see numbers, the bigger one is the one that's, that you should always put the Pac-Man on, right? Mm -hmm. But when you're doing fraction, it's different. Watch this. This one is 1 out of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1 out of 2. So 1, 2. And then we're going to fill in 1. Obviously, looking at these charts, which one is bigger? Uh, the left one. But Wait, what? Oh, Which one in the picture form? Yes. Yeah, right. Right. Correct. So, we know that this has more pizza than this one does. This only has one slice. This one has one huge slice. Okay? So, this one is bigger. Right? Because this one has more. So, in fractions, the smaller number is actually the bigger because it's how many... I uh, have a less amount. I've only cut it into two slices. Where here, I cut it into four. You see that? Okay, so don't let that fool you, okay? So if you hear something like this, one-fourth is less than one-half. This is how I would write it. One-fourth is less than one-half. See how I did that? So they may give you a sentence and have you put it into this form, okay? okay. Or they may have you actually perform it, mm -hmm. okay? That is lesson nine.